This is video number six of handling ejection marks on the SOP with Camel by Academy. And uh, the last tape we talked about finishing up the uh, taking off of excess putty, the red putty on mark number two and mark number four. I've also uh, come back after doing the uh, micro chisel work. I've come back with uh, sanding sticks and, if necessary, wrapping the sanding sticks in higher and higher levels of grit. Of course, the higher the grit, the finer the sanding paper. And the result now is that of these four recessed ejection marks, all four of them are pretty smooth. When I rub against them, I don't feel any difference between the wing and the mark itself. My plan is to come back, take my Tamiya surface primer, and then after I've washed, I've thoroughly washed these surfaces, I'm going to hit them lightly with Tamiya primer and see how these marks look to the eye. Okay, uh, what's left is special problems that we run into with ejection marks. Uh, this front wing, this is actually the top of the bottom wing on this biplane, and there's two what I consider quite difficult ejection mark problems. Number one, we've got an ejection mark. This is the top surface. It's a viewing surface. We've got an ejection mark right on the rib of this Sopwith camel, right on the rib of this wing there's an ejection mark which I've already puttied in. Uh, the other issue is on the other side of this wing we've got a protruding ejection mark. It's sticking above this wing surface about a sixteenth of an inch. So I'm gonna see about dealing with these. Um, I'm gonna turn off the camera and I'll just describe what I intend to do and in video 7 uh, I'll come back and we can look at it and see what I did. My plan is is to take a micro chisel on this ejection mark here. First I'm going to dip it in water and uh, just to help soften it. And my plan is to come in and just work off the dried putty from each side, working into the rib from each side, and gradually peel it off like this, and uh, I'll see how the how the hole looks. It's a recessed ejection mark. I'll see how it looks. I'm gonna probably have to come back and rebuild the ridge once I've got the hole nice and filled, and I've filled it in and I've gotten rid of the excess putty, I'm going to try and rebuild this ridge. To me this is a lot of delicate surgery going on here. It's a hard job, but I thought um, I, I wanted to depict what my idea is going to be to handle this one. It is a top viewing surface. Now over here, with this protruding ejection mark, my idea is just to take my, my Dremel tool here battery powered and it's got kind of a tungsten abrasive tip I've placed on it and it's cordless but my idea I'm not going to do it on this video my idea is I'll turn it on here it is noisy I'm going to turn it on shortly and my idea is to work down carefully very carefully work down this protrusion with the tip of this uh, abrasive bit on the Dremel tool. You see there's detail in front of this protruding mark and there's detail to the left and right so it's about as difficult a situation as you can get. So when I turn it on it's gonna look like this. It's spinning pretty fast rate and I'll start gently working it down. I'm not gonna do it on the video but I'll come back in tape 7, show you how this turned out. <laughs> 